situated in Swanneville, on the outskirts of Mohale City in the west of Gauteng, Ludirila Secondary School faces a number of challenges. Swanneville is a poor informal settlement community with a high level of unemployment and the school itself is in desperate need of structural improvement. But in spite of these challenges, we are extremely proud of our achievements so far. Since 2008, we've maintained an upwards of 98% metric pass rate. In 2008, if I'm not mistaken, it produced 100%, 2009, 95%, and last year, lastly, 98%. We are really impressed. We hope really hope the results are this year we can take a hundred percent. And these are some of the achievements that we managed to fulfill from 2007 till 2010. We believe that this is because we have a strong vision and mission to provide quality public education in order to create a better life for our community through active involvement of all stakeholders. We ask and urge all of you, learners of the really educators and support staff and staff, to really work harder than what you did last year. For any educator who join us, for any learner who join us, this community of the really will become as one. But let's take a closer look at what we are doing to achieve our vision. We are here to share, we are here to make you grow. And those that are academically challenged, we refer them to special institutions. grade photographing, so qualify and then after that, We motivate learners, we motivate educators, we motivate um, uh, even the people who come and just visit our school. This is a Makon Wuti in general government board. So as Wuti, Abantu and Ababe level, na Wuti shaba bati basiden zisan, siden zisan yuso. We take the safety and health of our learners and our teachers very seriously. The school is a smoke and weapon free zone with smoking banned for all learners as well as teachers. There will be a drastic change in the way we handle drug edits. So you may think that you are compromised, only find that that was communicated with parents, even your class reps. Let me be clear, boy, and I guess I'll be clear. But they tell a lot because yeah, just call them red. If you want to play with the Tiba house, we'll find a nice place for you. Security personnel got the school at night and control the school gates during the day. Ubu street ba kwa first of all. I'm a teacher at the street, the principal ya kona, and I'm going to kona. Ba always ba in full uniform. I'm going to take photos of my boy now street. My boy next day, my mangi no Na after school, my boy poom. No go my boy next day school hours. Benga pants be lala or be pis be tenga na magua ina. We value the importance of parents' involvement with the school. We have an active school governing body that participates in school committees and the formulation of some of the school's policies. The school in Sinobangisano, or see the selling the salon of principal, Jingabasina Bazali. We appreciate parents assisting us in the supervision of learner studies, and we also have a volunteer project for them to help feed the more needy learners to our school. It's in a feeding scheme, a school in. He supported us in um, giving us food, you get breakfast, during lunchtime you get lunch, before you go home you get some, some food again just to make sure that you're fine. Also, the school gives assistance to those students that cannot afford school uniform. Our primary focus when it comes to physical and mental activities outside the school classroom is to create a platform for our learners to shine in a number of extramural activities. We have athletics, netball, chess, volleyball, soccer, 
cricket, indigenous games, tennis, rugby, and music. <laughs> Even can I trophy, take it winning, Hakiloko di competition in some music, post colonies and Alina, Ibile, the one supporter, Edna Kutus. With an enrollment of 1,356 learners, the school has 44 educators, four general workers, three admin clerks and two security professionals who work hard to ensure that all 1,356 learners' needs are met. And with 24 classrooms, two laboratories, a media center, computer center, consumer study center, and five mobile classes, we have the facilities needed to successfully teach our curriculum, which is divided into three main streams, namely science, commerce and applied science because we realize that every individual has the potential to be their best last year i got an opportunity to go to robin island which was very rare i never thought that i could get that opportunity if i wasn't at school i don't think i could have gotten that so i went there and i learned enough that i came back and taught my fellow learners every time we give awards to those learners that did very well to encourage them to even do better Make it a point that June and, and the end of the year, you pass excellent people, not just others, so that you are able to secure your position come 2030. We offer substantial learner support in order to ensure that they reach that potential, no matter what. They provide classes um, after school just to make sure that learners study. You know, even on Saturdays, teachers just come to school just to help learners. We go through afternoon tests, but it is never to us saying someone that it's, you're tired. It's, it's, a, it's a habit. It's something that we are living for. It's something that we are used to. The school pays application fees for the needy grade 12 learners who intend to study at tertiary institutions. apply <laughs> for we didn't have money for the application fee. They did give us application forms. And they took them to relevant universities. And during holidays, we run an intervention program to assist learners with academic challenges and the completion of their syllabus. They provide you with a lot of question papers from different schools, and different you know, levels of question papers. We are exceptionally proud of those that have matriculated in 2010. 17 of them have been placed in various universities. I'm a first year student at the first university. And I'm doing a Bachelor of Science in Material Sciences with Metallurgy. We've come a long way, but we still have a very long road to travel. If we can get uh, assistance to more, some of the things they already like, especially if you can check if we are computer. Uh, although we do have the classes on computer, but I think we need to do more. The school is in need of a hall for parents' meetings, metric examination sessions, and other indoor activities. Also, we need seven extra classrooms, a bridge, ramp, Finnish science laboratories, computers, workbenches, improved kitchen, irrigation system for our garden, and cricket field. Improving our infrastructure will help us provide our learners with the best tools they need for their future.